Um, hopefully this presentation you actually get to see this time. So this is a presentation on the book I've been reading for past month, something like that. Um, Halo First Strike. This is the cover here. Um, so I have it here. Look at it. Please remember it because I'm not going to be showing my book here. Halo First Strike. It is written by Eric Nyland. Uh, it is sci-fi, I guess. I guess you could classify it as sci-fi, yeah. Other books that Eric Nyland has written is Halo The Fall of Reach, Halo Ghosts of Onyx, Other Worlds, Mortal Coils, and many more other books. These two, Mortal Worlds, Other Worlds, Mortal Coils, are not Halo. I don't know what they are. It's only no, there is a gigantic spoiler warning if you do want to read this. So, I, I let you know. What is Halo First Strike about? It's about two groups of soldiers that were separated from the rest of the UNSC, which is per, uh, U United Nations Space Command, uh, futuristic stuff, and they meet, they come together later on. One group left a Halo ring, this big ring, and the other was trapped on a destroyed planet, Reach, this bottom planet that's up, that is on fire. <laughs> this takes place in the year 2552. They need to regroup with the UNSC forces to get back home. Chief and Group 1, Chief is one of the main characters, and Group 1, which is uh, Halo Ring people, go to the planet Reach to meet survivors and escape Reach get home. Some of the main characters are Master Chief, which is the leader of Blue Team, Blue Team, Will, Fred, Linda, which is the best Spartan team to exist. Uh, Spartans, are yes, they do have more than Big Bird. They're super soldiers, that's the best way to put it, and Cortana, a human AI. This is Blue Team here. That's Chief. Some side characters that are good. Some of them could maybe be classified as main characters. I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard to decide on that. Uh, Sergeant Johnson, Halo Survivor. Kelly, Halo Survivor, member of Blue Team. Just not really seen that, seen or mentioned that much in the book. So, side character. Admiral Whitcomb, Reach Survivor, highest rank out of all of these survivors. Lieutenant Haverson, Halo Survivor, Corporal Locklears, Halo, Pulaski, Halo Survivor, and is a excellent pilot. Uh, Grace, another Spartan, not part of Blue Team. Reach Survivor, and was, was a Spartan. Dr. Halsey, Reach Survivor, and she was the creator of the Spartans. Many bajillion, not bajillion, like 25 years ago or something. Protagonists and antagonists. Uh, the characters that were listed in the previous slide are all protagonists. So they are all the good guys. Then the antagonist is the powerful alien alliance, the Covenant. They have killed billions of humans and decimated hundreds of planets, human planets. Insights of the characters. Chief gets more protective for his team, blue team. Halsey gets more paranoid about Spartan's condition. That's a lot of damage! Right here. That's something. Some of the other characters begin to go crazy after several uh, imbal uh, unfair battles that were somehow won. And Cortana gets more worried about her seven year lifespan. It's something I'm not going to talk about. Even more spoilers. <laughs> Conflicts. Um, so, pretty much there's a crystal that they get on Planet Reach in a old looking, an old alien structure that's not human or covenant. Uh, obtain, uh, 
crystal that a protagonist obtained creates a wild goose chase between the Covenant and the humans. Covenant fleet heading to Earth, approximately 300 ships, and probably even more. Uh, I won't talk about that too much yet. Chief and blue team go to Covenant fleet to destroy it. So pretty much what happens here is they go to the crystal uh, makes Covenant want to follow um, humans and then later they learn that a, cov a gigantic Covenant fleet aliens um, is heading to Earth to obliterate it. And then Chief and Blue Team go to that fleet and just destroy everything. I just pretty much spoiled the book for you. Good job. Uh, what it means. How relentless the Covenant are when they are when they want something. How powerful the Covenant is even after decimating a planet that was extremely important not long before. Um, Chief and Blue Team going there puts on hold the destruction of Earth. Destruction of Earth, sorry, that sounded odd. Um, pretty much it's kind of all proves with the human part how brave humanity is. Supporting passages for the author's claims. Uh, so we have for the alien species, uh, Ray, uh, Alliance, uh, page 396, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter to you because you don't have the book. And then for humans, which is all chapter 5, and I'm not going to read it, because that's way too much. I'll read the Covenant one, though. The brute stepped from the shadows and faced John. It was taller than an elite, wider, and more muscular. Its mouth was lined with razor-sharp teeth, and its red eyes burned with hate. Its blue-gray skin was riddled with bullet holes. The brute... The brute tackled John, Chief, knocking his weapon from his grasp. Even with the Mjolnir armor, John was not as strong as, as the alien. Uh, quick summary. The brute pretty much comes out of nowhere, ambushes uh, John, which is uh, Master Chief. John is his actual real name. Uh, pretty much almost kills him the chapter after he does get free from the brute, though. Chapter 5, pretty much a two tiny ships goes against a gigantic ship, and it, it's somehow a victory again. Unfair victories. Commonly used literary devices. Personification, Chief treats and sees Cortana as a living being, but is an AI. Hyper... I can never pronounce that one. Hyperbole, something like that. Uh, Johnson says things like, There are thousands of elites. Usually, something like that. Yeah. There are so many more that are hard to find in the book. There is, I don't, there's a lot of pages, and there's no way I can find all of the literary devices. But that's just two there. When grammar was at his best. Grammar, spelling, all that. Uh, when describing atmosphere and describing something or someone. Here's an example right here. The bridge lights dimmed and blackness filled the arc of displays along the wall. Stars winked into existence and at 3 o'clock blazed the warm orange orb of Epsilon Eredini. So what he's trying to describe is this. This big orange thing that looks like a sun. No, that's actually a planet. That is a planet right there that is that is now looking like a sun. Some very important passages. Uh, so there's two, I would say. They're really important for the enti for that effect pretty much the entire book. So chapter 15, page 185, this one kind of, this one starts up every, this chapter is the beginning of when a bunch of events that follow after. It's the best way I could put it. There is a pedestal made of 
the same gold material as the symbols in the corridor, and floating above it was a fist-sized crystal, tapered to a point at either end. Its front and the faces along its center line folded and shifted like pieces of a puzzle. Dr. Halsey reached for it and then hesitated. Radiation. She asked Fred, checked his counter. Normal back normal background levels, he reported. There's more to this thing, but there's more to the quote and stuff. But I'm not gonna say it all because then it just gets a bit lengthy. Uh chapter thirty four, which is I'm gonna give you a summary because it is the entire chapter that's really important. So here's a bit of summary. Chief blows up a command center and saves himself from a brute that nearly kills him, which buys humanity time to prepare for the attack on Earth. So this is when they blow up that 300 fleet, uh, um, ship fleet. So confusions I did have, and that you might have from watch from watching this. You don't know where he start, how the book started. Uh, yeah, because he's in a that little ship. You don't know how we got there. You have to read the previous book to understand that. Uh, the when did the pillar and something I got conf confused about was when did Pillar Bottom eject Linda? You would not understand that either. <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, what happens to the rebels after chapter 30? Uh, that's another event that happens. Something, yeah. How is Earth located? So, humanity is taking a lot of precautions to protect Earth's location, so it doesn't get obliterated. But they still manage to find it. So, how did they manage to find it? Despite all the precautions. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick summary. I don't know if it's gonna make a cut out of this video because I might be out of time. So here's Halo First Strike in a nutshell. Chief escapes Halo, finds old buddies, big scary ship attacks, they steal it from the Covenant, fly to Reach, sad for Reach's destruction, they go to the surface and find more friends, use friends to find more friends. They find more friends! <laughs> they zoom out from big dome thing. Get stuck in slip space because of a shiny crystal, glue two ships together, teamed up with bad guys, took bad guy stuff, abandoned them, launched a small spaceship to a big space station thing, big scary ape, nearly kills main character, finally, roses are red, violets are blue, station is huge, grenade go boom boom. <laughs>